Well, Come on, say, I'm looking at you, you're looking at me. It's a standoff. It's uh... getting to know you. <laughs> wow. Oh, this is new music. Chew Dog picked the music for this. I like this, Chew Dog. Judy, what is it? This game is uh, Robinson versus Ferris. Now, uh, Chew Dog, can you hand out the pens and papers for us, mate? Basically, I've got five questions and you've got to answer for each other. So, Brett, you've got to write down. <laughs> about uh, Robbo Robbo you got right down back for this and then I've got five questions on the Huddersfield Giants as well see how well you know your club Let's give me a vinyl <laughs> nice easy you'll, you'll know all these <laughs> what are you looking for ah, what are looking at clipboards and there's about a thousand records <laughs> <laughs> so just for all the youngers at home this is a bit of a Julie Andrews yeah, Julie Andrews. Julie Andrews, classic tune. There she goes. Getting to know you. So, Robinson versus Ferris. Is that Dorothy? Yeah. Have we got pens? Are we sorted? So, first question. <laughs> That's right now. <laughs> Remember, Brett, you're putting down... For Luke. For Luke, you're putting down for Brett. Yeah. Turn the music down. I will. I like it. Alright. So uh you need to, first of all you need to name each other's former Super League clubs. You can't tell each other. Whoever wins gets a prize. Fish finger sandwich. Yep. From where? My <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> name each other's former clubs. I said mine earlier. <laughs> That's right. Uh, he just said the F word <laughs> said on flip. the radio. <laughs> Flipping neck on it. He said flip. Oh, sorry. Um. Are you open, Jonesy? I'm just oh. Right, have you done that? Right. Yep. Name each other's birthplace. <laughs> it's easy, king of it. It is, easy. <laughs> Number three. He's moved, he's an hospital in Castle, you have to travel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Name each other's amateur club. Luke's mentioned it as well, his uh, club. Only four times tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it until Finney. I die. Barry, Phil, <laughs> yeah. play with Finney a bit. Doing well will, now. Will, yeah, will you, will you uh, go back and play for Siddle when you finish? I'd like to. I want to watch I want to watch Siddle though and watch <laughs> Derek Fox. I'd like to just hang around with my mates, but I watched that Derek Fox come down, literally they just all wanted to kill him. Yeah. They all like coming in bathrooms, I knocked him out and I thought, oh, <laughs> could you just imagine that? I think Jimmy Lowe's once said that he started playing Union for that reason. He said he couldn't play league because he said he told me that he'd just, get, to bang he'd just be fighting every week. I'd like to go down with my mates, but I'm just not sure if I'd like to get beat up every week. Well, ben Westwood says he's going to go back and play for Norma yeah, end of his career. But that's not a surprise, is it? No. And uh, who else were it? Gaz Cavill said he might play for Stam. Really? Yeah. Imagine that. Atkins, you, Peacock, Gaz Cavill, Calder, Gibbo, Calder Calders. Shall I get Mickey McCall? What's he doing now, Calders? He does a bit of coaching at Stanley. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He works for a firm down Ireland as well. I spoke to him for a bit, but he's uh, yeah, still gets in with kids. Yeah. Helps kids out. Just mm. laughing at Brett. He's cover, <laughs> covering his answers. <laughs> 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 Can't copy. I'm just just an <laughs> 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 Right then, <laughs> number four. Baltimore. How many times each of us represented England? Appearances. Appearances, yep. Yeah, let's not have a Great Britain debate. Oh, don't get on Great No, no, no. Keith went mental. I proved him uh, wrong. Andy Lynch. Andy Lynch. I've represented in England I once. I need phone Andy Lynch tonight. Great Britain once. He'll be in bed at nine. Honestly? <laughs> I swear. You're my, they're one of my best mates. Yeah. He'll be in bed at nine. No, I'm going to phone him on the at dot. five past nine just to <laughs> line him up. He won't answer. Oh. Right, number five. Text him now. How long has each other been at Huddersfield? How many years? I wish I could go to bed at nine. <laughs> I think I'd miss something. I think I'd miss something if I went to bed at nine. Yeah, I, I, mate. I, mean, I just don't go to bed. I, I wish Simo would go to bed at nine. <laughs> you don't get no <laughs> videos and <laughs> and texts at three, <laughs> four o'clock in the morning. Oh, Two or three yeah, days. We class them games before, aren't we? I wouldn't know. Right, there are your questions on each other. Now you can cover up your answers this time. 
questions about the Huddersfield Giants. No idea. Which year <laughs> did the Huddersfield Giants form? Not the Giants. Which year did Huddersfield form? Do you know the shirt? <laughs> Is that right? No. The Giants. Oh, Christ. I thought it was no, Giants. No, Huddersfield. No, Huddersfield. No, not, Huddersfield. Not, the, not the Giants. Huddersfield. 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 Oh, do you remember Huddersfield, Huddersfield Sheffield? In that 1858 or something? No, no, it's not that. No, definitely not. No, is that Saints, 1858? No, Northern... Uh, Northern Union. Northern Union started around, I think it was 1890. Oh, all right. They did used to be known as Far Town. Far Town, yeah. But Huddersfield. I don't know. Right then, next one. Far Town's rough. Yeah. It is rough, man. <laughs> I used to live there. It's rough, mate. <laughs> what is the capacity of your home ground at John Smith Stadium? You play there every other, every other week. <laughs> it's never full. Well, there's, another, <laughs> there's another benefit, Rock. Was that the first full yeah, yeah, yeah. game there ever in England, Ireland? Yeah, 22,000. There's another positive for you. <clears throat> 22, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Just change it up. Just change it up. Let's see more knows, let's police now. 25, Martin. To 22. <laughs> you, you are wrong anyway, it's not 22. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. There were 22,000 that game. You just said it were full, they were 22,000. James said it full. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. What is the record consecutive wins for the Giants in Super League? It's got to be last year, hasn't it? Not what year, how many did they I know, win? but it's got to be last year. Could be. I know this. I know this one. What would you What would you say, Simo? Seven or what? Eleven. Put? Eleven. It won't last year. It won't last year. I don't think. I think it was like I was the one sharpie me. So I was eight. You said that question again. He went on a went on a big run. I went on a run with Nathan Brown as well. Nine. How many consecutive <laughs> wins have the Giants got in Super League? What's their What's their record of consecutive wins in Super League? Right, next yeah. question. What is Huddersfield Giants' biggest Super League win? I think I know this. I'll give you a clue. It happened oh, I saw it. Oh, it no clues. Whoa. You want to no clues? clues. <laughs> 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 I don't think I've read this in programme. Well, it's all bog me for a game other day. I think. I know what it is. I'm sure I know what it is. Boring statue. What was that? I think I read it, honestly, this week. Only this week. What, Huddersfield ever? The biggest Huddersfield the, ever? No, the, the biggest Super League win. Super League, yeah. Super League, Huddersfield Giants. You're big on that in your programme. Obviously, when you play away, you read, obviously, the programme, don't you? And there's always a page in Huddersfield of, like, recent things that they've done really well. That's what I think I read this <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> Just sort of sat there. <laughs> <laughs> it's boring before a game, isn't it? it? When we go play them, it's like, you read their programme, it's like, we beat Leeds this score. <laughs> <laughs> and then we beat you before, same score. <laughs> 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 we beat them nine yeah. times on trial. <laughs> oh, we did. Right, last one. What was Huddersfield's average attendance in 2013? The nearest guess gets a point. Huddersfield's average attendance in 2013. Back to sleeping. You know, I can tell you a fact here. Go on, then. Uh, <laughs> mammals will die quicker if they're deprived of sleep than they do when, than when they're deprived of food. I've got about three weeks left then. <laughs> <laughs> Fact. You told me this before. Yeah, but I told <laughs> you and everybody at radio, have I? So. I was saying. Yeah, sorry. I'm trying to encourage you to sleep, that's why. Mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Less, less sleep, I, like to, I like to party. That's what I was saying. <laughs> right. I like, I, like I, like spread. A, I like a dance on a like spread. I like to spread at party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, right then, shall we go through the answers? Nice. Right, let's do the answers. The answer is Robinson v. Fettis. Right then. First of all, we'll ask you, uh, Brett, what did you put down for uh, Luke's answers? Uh, Wigan, Salford, Castleford and Huddersfield. All correct. Chew Dog, do you want to keep score? That's four. What's his birthplace? Halifax. Yes, correct. His amateur club? Siddle. Correct. How many times has he represented England? I'm going for eight. The answer is six times. Nice. Oh, seven out of eight. better than that. And <laughs> <laughs> And how long has he been at Huddersfield? I'm going four years. He's now in his sixth year. Wow. Right eight then. to beat, eight to beat. We've got new answers yet to come. So, uh, right. Luke, you tell us... Uh, Six. Brett's clubs. Yeah, Bradford, Wakey, Cass. 
And obviously now Huddersfield. That's four points. What's his birthplace? Cass. Yep. What's oh, his amateur club? Pontefract. Oh, contention. Ponticalo. That's not my no, fault, no, no, Castle. No, no, no. no, Ponticalo. No, they have a rugby no club, club and what is it? Uh, chocolate. Uh, chocolate. Is that about it? That's all they have, isn't it? Haribo. What? Is chocolate. It, what is it? The chocolate factory. So what's Haribo's in, in, in Ponty as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're all in Castle. Kiko's. Next to Kiko's. Now that was a club. Moving Haribo. Is it? Down Whitwood, yeah. Where the old Pioneer were. He was born in Pontifract, but. You lived in Cass. Just outside Cass Vegas, Ponte How Carlo. You lived somewhere before you were born. No, you were born in Ponte. His family is known. Born in Castleford. <laughs> he's he's telling you, he's telling you, he's telling you, you were born. You were born. Says on my sheet, Castleford. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so your sheet's right then. <laughs> right, two dogs with the scores. So right, what? Uh, who's your amateur club? Lock Lane. Uh uh. Popper. <laughs> Small fawn Panthers. Yeah. That's in Castleford. There you go. <laughs> How many times has uh, Brett represented England? Seven. That is also correct. Yes, what a guess. And how long has he been at Huddersfield? He came at the end of 2012. So how many years? <laughs> 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 so he went 13 and, and we're classing and this as like a half as well two and a half no <laughs> one and a half <laughs> if you had if you had the end of 2012 and now up you're in, oh. your, you're in your third year aren't you yeah, yeah. 2012 13 yeah it's not my fault you can't count them. you didn't say that you didn't say that <laughs> you didn't say that you didn't say that no point there Robbo sorry no, man give over. so, so funny, end of that round what are the scores two dogs someone get Robbo an abacus <laughs> Scores at the end of that round is Robbo seven, Brett six. Well, I've got none of these right as well. <laughs> I don't know if I'm Brett, I'm let's see how well you know your club, now. Huddersfield Giants. Which year did Huddersfield form? Luke, what's your answer? 1895. 1920. <laughs> in the Depression. The answer is 1895. Oh, <laughs> Techers. Do you know why I know that? It says it on his shirt, doesn't it? <laughs> Have you never noticed that? He says it on his badge. No. <laughs> his shirt's behind you on there. <laughs> he says it on his badge. Like, he says it on his badge. And King goes on about all the time, isn't it? The birthplace and all that. That's where I kind of... 1895. <laughs> Is that where you switch off? <laughs> That's it, who? He doesn't know where they were born, never mind where they... Oh! You keep reading that shit, Cop. Right then, next one. What is the capacity of your home ground at John Smith Stadium? 25. I want 22. 24,500. Yes. So Luke was the closest. Sorry, mate. Next one. What's the record consecutive wins for the Giants in Super League? Ten. Nine. The answer was last year. Eight consecutive wins on the bounce. Did we? I can't remember that. You take notice of your results. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's because he goes, what, six and six whistle off last. That's what, what I'm thinking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's what yeah. I'm He's gone last end and first end. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> right. No points for everyone. <laughs> what was Huddersfield's biggest Super League win? Go on, Luke, you said you knew this one. Was it? Well, we played only playoffs last year, so like 76, six. Is that right? No, that was, no. <sighs> I was 68, six. Close. It was a 66 win versus Witness in 2012. Get oh. your point for that, Brett. Thank you. Wait a minute. Why don't I get a point for one before now? <laughs> Closer. Nah. <laughs> yeah. You're small. <laughs> and finally, what was Huddersfield's average attendance in 2013? Nearest one gets it right. Brett, you go first. 7565. 7566. Six. Wow. <laughs> 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 the answer Tactical. is. 6,668. <laughs> it's a draw. It's a draw. Oh, well done, mate. It's not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good game. It's not a draw, Chew Dog. Why is that? He's spot the thunder. <laughs> pissed on his bonfire. <laughs> the final scores are. I'm not swearing. Brett Ferris, <laughs> eight points. Luke Robinson, nine points. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> well done, Robbo. <laughs> right, let's play Knowing Me, Knowing You. We're just going to do teammates. So and get into the teammates at the Huddersfield Giants. Because I've got to admit, right, we ask everyone about pranks when they come on the show. Because oh. we all, we love a prank. Oh. Right, so. <clears throat> now, I'm going to tell you, right, the best prank I've. 
Because I thought, <laughs> I thought the best prank I'd ever heard was Sneaky Sneakerson's at Huddersfield. Yeah, very good. That was a very, very good prank, and it went on and on. Were you he, there he got then? Stopped. No, no, I missed it. He got, he, he got told to stop it. He didn't just stop on his own accord, he got told. There were two people on it. I think it were Grixie. And Lunty. And Lunty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was the that was the the deal breaker. That's how they got us because basically everyone thought it were Grixie. But then he'd be sat with you and then Sneakers would put some on then because there were two of them. That's how they yeah, got yeah. stuff. Yeah, always a partner in crime. Yeah, yeah always a PIC. Well, you know I think PIC. basically the, the coach and a lot of those put a, a bit of a stop to it, really. Yeah, and it's like, because <laughs> that, that's, that's when I was, a good minute said Donsky and he'd come, he'd come round and go, Simo, man, they're doing these sneaky sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> they won't get me, man. It's <laughs> <laughs> so like, good, that, good impression. Yeah. <laughs> mm, mm, chip, chip, chip. They're just like nicking stuff, <laughs> <laughs> They were taking stuff and saying, like, if you don't put a picture of yourself in nothing but skins on Twitter, you don't get your, your stuff back and stuff like that on it, but. I thought I thought that was, that was one of the best pranks I'd heard. Told, Sean Long told us a prank last week, the other week before. Basically, um, it, they'd been out in um, Wigan. Wigan for a night out, and uh, Gilly had um, got into a bit of trouble with some girl. Had a bit of a had a bit of a shout, and this girl didn't like Gilly very much. And uh, and, <laughs> and Longy went, "Yeah, you want to watch it? A boyfriend's a gangster from Wigan. You got you got to be careful." And Gilly was like. <laughs> whatever, whatever. You know, I'll give him a bat and all this stuff. So what? Um, right, Longy and Kieran Cunningham. Yeah, yeah. Longy and Kieran come had arranged one of Kieran Cunningham's mates. <laughs> they're all training oh, to run out of the bushes <laughs> with a gun and a bat, <laughs> firing blanks <laughs> at the squad, and <laughs> they all ran off. And like Mick, Mick Potter, Mick Potter knew about it, and Paul Wellens about it. nobody else knew about it. Imagine that. Didn't that Mario Fastflu go for him? <laughs> I don't know. Well, that a bit as well. <laughs> I'm, sure Foz, I'm sure Foz told that. They all shot off down to Absolutely there. brilliant. So, what's the best prank? What's the best prank you've seen it? What's, it, what's this one? The uh, best prank I won in that actually Huddersfield, it's at a Looney Talk we spoke about earlier about Jacksonville. We're in Jacksonville. They got, uh, RFL got us to drug test as well. We're there. Gaz, like you've been a fat kid. He was trying to lose weight, basically. He was taking loads of soda of ephedrine, <laughs> which they were legal at the time, but he was just trying to lose weight. But he was a bit conscious he took too many. <laughs> so anyway, all the lads were saying, look, if you take loads of vitamin C, it's out of your system. <laughs> Quick. So he's necking loads of, like, orange juice, fresh orange juice. And we got back, and I got my uh, drugs test back. You know, you're all clear. And I got in one air <laughs> and sent one air, look, um, print one off a Gazag, and we'll say... And basically, he ripped one out saying, Look, there's an unusual amount of vitamin C in your system. <laughs> but unfortunately, the coach has got in on it, and the coach has even ran Gazak at his age up and told him, I don't, I don't know how professional this is. <laughs> so, anyway, they got him in and said, Look, there's too much vitamin C in your system. <laughs> he fell for it. <laughs> Rang his mission, we just bought a new house saying, Look, we have to sell ours. <laughs> like, got it. Drag his agent up, agent's like, you'll have to go and tell hands and that, and then, so he got us out, feels as, you know, he got a bit of a list for his gals. <laughs> Sorry, boy, I'm not only at myself down, I'm like, you yelled, and everyone's laughing, but they read me like, ball. <laughs> even though, even there's a gentle giant gals, he, he could throw them, and all of a sudden someone told him to wind him up, and he just sort of erupted, and the whole, and the whole team just dispersed right up, just like jumping over fences away from me. Yeah, Rang his wife up still in his arms. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, love, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> All because he drank too much orange juice. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, man. Man. oh, How about you, bro? What have you seen? What's the best prank you've ever seen? I think it was Bobby, wasn't it? Mm. Bobby Fairbank in uh, Portugal this year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, um, Blue had been going on all week. He was sharing with Kieran Patel. Obviously, coaches were around corner. I don't know if you've been, been to Browns, but all the players are in one side and the coaches are in the other one. So Bobby's found this key. Turns out it's Blues. Kept it, kept it quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't tell anybody. So uh, Kieran's going around. Who's got this key? We've lost the key. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Sorry out. Blues blaming it on him. He's blaming him. The bitching like hell with each other. Anyway, one night all the all the coaches were sat in the room. So I think Bobby took his took his chance. He's gone around the corner. Gone into he's gone into Blues' room. <laughs> and uh, basically ransacked his room 
<laughs> he's put Kieran's boots in microwave, in, in oven, turned all furniture around, and then he took I, the beds out, I, didn't he? I, I, the, well, the last thing was he's up on the up on like the big veranda thing up, got the bed, <laughs> took it outside, brought the sun lounger in, put the bedding on the sun lounger, <laughs> and, and obviously locked up, left and thought no of it. So we've got a uh, we've got training next morning. In fact, we were watching the pub, didn't we? We were watching at the yeah. bar. Um, and Spuggy were in there, Chris Thorman. He's like, Legend, Spuggy. Have you seen this picture? He's like, what about? There's a big balloon laying on this sun lounger. In the room. <laughs> Hands behind his head, looking all casual like he's sunbathing at half ten at night. Do you know about all this? No, I'm not seeing it. Not a clue. Anyway, we've gone back. Next morning, we woke up in breakfast and uh, the lads are like, they've got him on CCTV. <laughs> Balo- Balo's got him. He's, he's just watching so He's watching his footage now. He's got him. Who oh, is it? I'm going to find out. Blah, blah, blah. So he's like, we start breakfast, he's coming, we're do, doing a bit of a meeting, he's like, right, I've got you lads, I'm going to show it later. Just letting you know, video tonight will be of the CCTV, we've got the culprits, you know who you are. <laughs> if you want to come forward, do you know what I mean, come, come yeah. and see us, like, gone through all day, he's absolutely <laughs> bobbing it. He didn't know what to do, he's uh, Bobby the ranking and all that. <laughs> he's like, he don't know what to do, he's, ask, he's asking a few older boys, don't know what to do, should I go tell him? Nah, leave it, leave it. Anyway, we got to the video that night. Blue's walked in. Unfortunately, CCTV hasn't come hasn't come to fruit, so you've got away with it this time, but you won't get away with it again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got, you've got a new trialist um, down at your place, Sam Lucky, cage fighter. Yeah, young kid from Newcastle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, from the Gateshead way. Um, Tough lad. Must be. Yeah, Gateshead. yeah. Uh, Andy Kelly's brought him down. Um, he's been doing a lot of lot of stuff up in the North West, so he's brought him down. He's, he's sort of checked him out and, and thought he'd been going well up there so give him a trial down here uh, he's been training with predominantly with the 19s and stuff so I think he played it the, the week before and, and he's gone quite well so yeah it's a good opportunity for him Seems to be a good club for de- developing the lads and uh, Jody Broughton decided to move to you guys instead of staying there with the Red Devolution how's Jody been settling in because he's quite like, he's a good good friend of ours how's he, how's he settled in? He's been really good yeah he's um, he's settled in well he's, he's a nice kid and he? he's yeah. a good Leeds lad and He's, he's been really good. He's, he's had to bide his chance, uh, wait his time, bide his chance, and he's come in and done a, done a great job. To be fair, he's, he's got pace to burn. He's he's, he's a, naturally he's a, he's a good 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 physical specimen. He's, like, he's, he's in good nick, <laughs> and he? Yeah. he he works hard and deserves what he gets. Um, he's got good genes, so that's what it is. Uh, yeah, <laughs> same, <laughs> same airline, aren't they? <laughs> 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 he's, uh, he's got a bit of flack for that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's, uh, he's got a good mate in Fusi, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Antonio Cafusi have hit it off quite well. Uh, the pineapple twins, that's yeah. what everyone's calling them. Pineapple pineapple tough to bear at the top of you. <laughs> 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 poor old Jody lost an inch last week, didn't he? Went up. <laughs> yeah. Bad. We've got, um, we're going to ask you some questions now. You can work together as a team on this one. Basically, I've got everyone who comes on, and it's kind of just getting to know your teammates. But you've got, you've got to be honest. We just ask you, we give you one word, and you've got to tell us who that person is in your team. We'll start off with the ugliest. It was the ugliest teammate you've got down at Huddersfield Giants. Blackie's up there, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, I'd probably go for Blackie. Just because yeah. he rates himself as well, doesn't he? Yeah, Ben Blackmore, young kid coming through. He's, uh, he's signed from <laughs> Cass. He's, uh, he rates himself highly, really highly. So, uh, And he, he's struggling a bit, isn't he? He's, only he's got one eye. His eye, his eye seem to merge. They just, yeah, they just seem to turn into one. He's from They're that Christ, close together. They're like this. His eyes are about half an inch apart, <laughs> and he's got no airline, has he? Bad airline. Bad or yeah. bad airline. Um, he's got a decent body, to be fair. That's one good thing for him, I suppose. If he's, you rate him. It's the fact he rates himself as well. <laughs> Absolutely thinks he's like... Killing it. Yeah, yeah thinks he, he kills thinks it. Does, yeah. Who's the pretty boy at Huddersfield? There's not many pretty lads, really. If I'm no, no glamours? Griggs is... Uh, <laughs> thinks he is. He's, he's always moisturising and... Probably because he's OCD more than anything else, isn't it? But yeah, is he bad OCD? Oh mate, you said it's... Jody. Jody's up there. Yeah, isn't probably he? Jody's one of his pretty boys now. Yeah, cocoa butter and yeah. know, every, every time after training, in between sessions. And <laughs> yeah, he's it's a bit, yeah. bit embarrassing, isn't it? Like, Getting out of shower, <laughs> cocoa butter up for weights. It's like, do you really need that? <laughs> <laughs> he's lovely to wrestle and train. To be fair, it smells lovely. Oh, it smells great. <laughs> <laughs> it's strange, this Phil. Who, who, who's the most? Who's the most skillful? In the team, uh, Brett's got good skills for a back rower, but I'd probably just say of his left foot, Bruffy. Yeah. For me personally, just what he can do with ball, really. You know, he 
he's a bit of a nightmare for us wingers. He pretty much teases them every session. They're always kicking, you know, I'm going to make it float, I'm going to make it spiral, I'm going to do this with it, I'm going to do that. And they're just pretty much knees and in, you know, nobbling it back, going, oh no, he's kicking it again. It's <laughs> not in front of the coach. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's the quickest at training? It's got the Jordan. The Jordan, yeah. Jordan. Who's, the, race, who's the slowest? Copy Foose Bales, maybe. Yeah, he's a slug, isn't he? Yeah, I'd probably say that. <laughs> <laughs> Another old Aussie. Yeah. I'd probably say Game out, game out. <laughs> yeah, Bales, probably Foose. Yeah. I'll, I'll copy, go, maybe. I'll go for them. Chuck Copy at Mixer as well. Yeah, probably one of them. Who's the hardest trainer? Probably me. Probably not Brett. And definitely, <laughs> and definitely not Earl. They have a massive cigar off every day, do uh, Earl and Brett. Just about who can chill out the most. Oh, <laughs> on, go dress it up. I work harder than Earl. Oh, easy. Yeah, probably yeah. just, yeah. Easy. Earl's forever got a coffee in his hand. Just, just <laughs> Who said that of the week? Said that all Earl does is walk around training with coffee. He pretty much does, yeah. Until miss a few. <laughs> he literally man. is just a coster, man. Just, he's, he's, on, he's just a, a coster every, every day, isn't he? Yeah. Like every break we have, he nips to coster. Brings, brings it back all the time. That's all he does. So I'd probably say... Ill day. It's not, yeah, he's the worst trainer. Jerry, Jerry trains hard, doesn't he? Jerry trains hard. Jerry yeah, trains he's, hard. he's class McGillivray, isn't he? Yeah, good player, mate. Really good player. Very underrated. He's like an English Very version underrated. of Marcus Bay. Obviously, he'll play with Marcus, won't he? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do you know, there's no sidestep. It's just literally 100 mile an hour straight at you. It's solid, isn't it? It reminds me very much of like a, a version of him, really. Absolutely yeah, just solid. solid. Just like run it, hour. Yeah. Who's got the worst taste in music? In the gym and the, in the, before the game? that on today? Scooter. Oh, oh Scooter! Last one. Oh, no. What's it, Jim? Scooter! Jim are you ready? <laughs> Whoa, Rivers, Rivers yeah. Unite. I think you were Lan, Lan and uh, Joe that today, wasn't it? I don't oh, know. Pumping it, it out. Greg Brown's never have any words in it whatsoever. He's it's just full boom, on. Boom, no, boom, no boom, words. Boom, boom. It's just yeah, that is literally he all the time. I've got like an iPod docking station, so you obviously put your put your phone at top. Plays fine, no problem. He has to tape his on. Because the bass is that loud, it pumps, <laughs> pumps his phone out. It's ridiculous. I don't mind now and again, but after like a good an hour and a half of it, Jim, you just like, oh, get me out of here. It was a funny man in the team. Who makes you all laugh? I've realised I'm watching that clock. I've been looking at a clock. I've been looking at that. To be and I'm fair. thinking, oh, I just keep looking at it, thinking it's going quick. Is I looked it? at it. And <laughs> thought, yeah, it's going quick. Is that <laughs> funny, man? You're all right, aren't you? You don't do bad, do you? Got some stories, obviously. Yeah, Jack and, I'm Jack and all, yeah. <laughs> Got stories of everyone. Yeah, about 10 o'clock, uh, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's, uh, probably not stories, but my nickname's Jugular. So oh, deep. They just say I go for throat pretty much straight yeah. away. If, I don't think I am, personally. I think it's just... If Robo you know, gets attacked or anything said to him, he is... <laughs> Boom! <laughs> just that little, that little Jack Russell just comes out and he's straight on you. The dog in it. Oh, he, he, just have a little black book bad. at home that I just mark now, you know, just in case. Right, if he says this, he's getting this back. <laughs> <laughs> it is, though, it's, it's like he's got a script ready to go. He's like, just reels him off that. Your mama. Don't give me a oh, weakness right, uh, or attack. Yeah, we'll, li- we'll leave that there. <laughs> Who's the worst dressed? Who's got the worst dress sense? It's got to be one of Aussies, hasn't it? Yeah. Surely. Although back he's trying to turn up in. Uh, Oh yeah, Air Max and um, jogging yeah, bottoms, the Air matching tracks. What he does with it, yeah, it's sort of full matching track each. Mm. Yeah, 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 it's just oh, yeah, Chav. Yeah, hundred percent. Who's the most likely to not buy a round on and out? Who's Jerry, oh, without man. a shadow. Jerry, Easy. now what Jerry does is he wants. When we got a night out, he came back last time, said, "I came back twenty six quid up." Who goes on a night out and comes back up? Because what happens now is Bruffy can't bother going to the bar because he can't bother queuing. So he says to Jez, "Look." <laughs> here's my money here's my round you go to the bar yeah. but Jez gets to keep the change <laughs> so basically Bruffy plays him like I don't know because Bruffy can't be queuing up for 20 minutes half an hour Jez will take two quid <laughs> to queue up to it. so you don't it's see him all it's night it's you don't see him <laughs> you just don't see him all night but he ends up like I don't know 15 quid up at the end of night and he's happy he hasn't spoke he's to so anyone he hasn't danced that. he hasn't done anything he's just queued up at the bar but he's happy that he's up he's <laughs> <laughs> madness it's true as well. Yeah, yeah, it's all, that's, a, that's a black in him. It's just We're true. all tight. Didn't you score oh. that slavery? That ain't rough. Slave wrestler. Chains. Chains and chains. It's him who's wanting it though. It's Chains who's asking for when, it. When we, get, when we get him on the show, we'll put him in 12 years of slave poster. Chains <laughs> <laughs> McGilvery. That's tonight doing that one. With <laughs> Danny Ruff behind. <laughs> <laughs> that would class. Who's the longest in the shower? Michael Lawrence. 
through those. Without guys. a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> there's no debate. There's no talking about it. It is what it is. Yeah. He's the longest in the shower. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that is the oldest field teammates. Right, this weekend the Challenge Cup is back. Last question of the night because we've run over time and I didn't even realise I apologise to everyone listening. Um, but it's been a good show. Have so you enjoyed tonight's show? Yeah, I've always enjoyed the shows. Um, Challenge Cup, <laughs> does it mean... It, do you look for... Has it, it, it got meaning compared to Super League? Do you look for... Is it, is, it, is it as good as it should be to you? Like the FA Cup is coming back, a bit of a renaissance in, in football. But how do you feel about the Challenge Cup from a player's point of view? Well, I, I got invited down to the Challenge Cup final, Wigan and Udall last year. And, Terrible uh, game. Just be, Well, mate, the atmosphere, the build-up... Um, Rugby League in the Challenge Cup is very much alive for me, particularly at final. I think it was showed every bit of prestige, uh, and I really loved it. I've I've never been well. I, last time I went as a to spectator as a kid, the, the Challenge Cup for me personally has brought nothing but disaster. <laughs> and I'd love to win it. I was saying of a week when I was at the draw, so I'd love to win it just so I can get lads to to melt it down and turn it into knives and forks. <laughs> Two hundred grand worth of solid silver apparently is the Challenge Cup. Um, it, it's an awesome trophy. I've never touched it because I've always said, you know, when you've got all these promos and stuff, stand next to it, you've got to win it to to touch it. But it's it's been it's been a tough one. Never won it, mate. Been all the finals, lost them all. Your, your all last told me that you, you tape your medals up, you lose your medals and put them on top of a cupboard. Yeah, I, uh, if I lose the medals, I tape them up, black, black sparky tape, put them on top. I won't put them in the trophy cabinet. They're just like a, a memory of uh, of what's gone on. But you never remember games that you've lost like that. I just cannot remember a thing about Challenge Cup finals. Played in four, and lost them all. You've Huddersfield uh, got there a few years ago. Oh nine was it? Yeah, oh nine. I've lost some same. Just be, it's a blur in it. Yeah, it's just a blur. And it's. I'll be honest. I, from a kid growing up in Halifax, I, I pretty much put the Challenge Cup as a level with the, you know, with the Grand Final. Mate. Eight, for me, well, eighty seven, eighty seven, won it. Halifax. Yeah, I'd, I'd glad. You know, if I think it's, it's still got that sort of magic around it for me personally, and, and well, explain that to Aussies when they come over. Really, sometimes they don't. I don't think they understand the history that, that goes behind it, and yeah, for me, it's it's it, it's still it, at a par at least with the with the Super League Grand Final. But when you're talking about losers' medals, I don't even know where mine are. You don't do you just sort of like stick no. them away somewhere, and you just basically want to put it to bed because you don't want to think about it. This week, big game for you guys. Tie of the round: Saints versus Uddersfield. Confident? Yeah, very. I am uh, personally. We've had a couple of dodgy weeks and. Everyone just wants to get out there and right the right the wrongs really, and it doesn't really get much bigger than obviously playing Saints on in, in, in a big game, and it's on BBC Live as well, so it uh, puts a bit more emphasis on it. But we're looking forward to it. We we just want to go out there, and enjoy his football again, and, and start ripping in a bit. Fantastic, Jonesy Wakefield. <coughs> yeah, Leeds have got Wakefield, and uh, I'm sure Wakefield have bounced back. Big crowd over there. It's really hostile, fast pitch. Um, obviously, we want to bounce back from our our own defeat as well. So massive game. And this is what. Challenge Cups are all about dreams. You know, I think I read uh, a, a, something about John Keir warming himself up for a, a Challenge Cup upset. He's one of the king of the Challenge Cup upsets, winning it with, with, uh, with Sheffield, Sheffield didn't yeah. back in the late 90s. He beat Leeds uh, with Hull, Hull back in 2005 yeah. to my expense, one of the games that I lost in. Uh, who've Batley got? He's won it, won it Cass. Super Cass. Cass, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's, he's going to turn them over. So, yeah, mate, the Challenge Cup, you can't presume anything all the form. Uh, in the league has got nothing to do with how he turned out. So I remember playing Cass in the semi-final a few years ago at Doncaster, the hardest games I've ever played in. It was it was horrible. And uh, the week after we played against him again in the league and put 40, 50 past him. So you can't you can't go on the uh, on on league form. On <laughs> um, I, I was the Halifax witness this week. Uh, so Kev Brown, who, who probably playing? Oldham. Oldham. Yeah, it's, it's, it's some fantastic, some really touch and go ties. I think Le- where's Lee? Do you know? Lee, Lee look good this year. I think they'll they'll do, they'll do all right. Um, they they smashing teams left, right, and centre so far. This, this they're season. trying to go full time, aren't they? Yeah, well, yeah. They, they, I think yeah. they've like spent a lot of money this year, but they haven't actually played anyone yet. Whereas Halifax has played every team in top five. Lost to Fev, um, lost to Batley. Actually, Batley looked good. Alex Rose, he's massive. He's, he's massive. He just thick set. We, we played him last year and struggled, didn't we? Yeah. We played yeah, my share in Challenge Cup and oh, struggled at that. Yeah, place. I remember that. Yeah. It was a real tussle. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, Liam, Roch- uh, Liam Rochdale, top versus bottom in a championship. No, yeah, Rochdale, terrible, mate. Absolutely terrible. I've seen them. Real bad. But anyway, yeah, if you're going to a game this weekend, uh, enjoy the Challenge Cup. 
Uh, next week's show, we've got Josh Chandler and Dan Sargison on, and we're going to get into Dan Sargison about his tweets, winding Justin Carney up and Bailey, and apparently they've got this thing at Wigan, where if you lose, if you're like the... Uh, Halifax, they have uh, something of the week, yeah. if you're the worst trainer. And at, um, at Wigan, if you're the worst trainer of the week, or you lose some kind of point system, the lads get to send a tweet off your phone. <laughs> And it, the, the the baited Bailey, the baited uh, Justin Carney, and everyone's bitten so far. So well, that was before the cast game, that one, yeah. I yeah, 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 yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, yeah. That. That's a very good idea. That's great, yeah. isn't it? Fantastic. <laughs> you got we'd, to send your tweet yet? We'd, yeah, oh, you got yeah. To, yeah, you got to send your tweet tonight. We'll retweet it now. But lads, thank you for coming on. You've been absolutely fantastic sports, and hopefully we'll get you involved with some more projects going forward. And we've got a TV meeting on Wednesday, so hopefully we'll have some good news. On the website, we'll keep you up to date through the website www.rugbyam.co.uk. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next week.